Hi guys. So I've been renting a lot of videos from the library recently because in town, as it is right now, uh, the library is the only place to rent a movie. I do live in a very small town and that is one of the problems. We don't have a Blockbuster here, which is okay. I don't mind very much because Blockbuster to rent a new movie is like $7. Ridiculous, right? I wouldn't want to spend that kind of money on even a new video. I would rather just buy it for like, you know, $17.99 later at Walmart, which sounds kind of shallow, but whatever. I don't really care all that much. Anyway, so I've been renting movies and I have a whole list of movies that I've been meaning to watch but haven't gotten around to, kind of those classic movies that everybody should see so that when somebody brings it up you can be like, oh yeah, psh, I've seen that. So um, uh, the two movies I did rent was The Color Purple and the other one I rented was American History X. I quite enjoyed The Color Purple and uh, I was watching like the first 15, 20 minutes, half hour of it and I'm like, uh, where have I seen this before? It was all very similar to something and I'm watching it and I'm like... It's got incest in it. Yeah, okay. It's, you know, she has end up having babies that get taken away. Yeah, okay. Uh, she's in an abusive relationship. Why does this seem so familiar? And then it hit me. Oh, right, because I just watched Precious. It's like the same movie. The only difference is that instead of being married, she's with an abusive mother. And instead of being in the, you know, pre-World War II, it's in modern day. Now, I would definitely, if you were going to watch a really depressing movie like that, watch The Color Purple. It was much better done. Ironically though, Oprah Winfrey had a very starring role in both movies, not in so much acting in the second movie, but more promoting it out the, you know, wazoo. But in the other movie, in The Color Purple, she did play Sophia, and she did a very good job, but man alive, she was fat then. Holy crap. She looks older in The Color Purple than she does now. I think celebrities are actually getting younger, which is kind of freaking me out a bit. I wonder what Tom Cruise will look like. He'll probably go back to being, like, fetus-sized once, you know, in 20 years from now. Just wait. Um, anyway, so... The movie was good, I enjoyed it, it was very depressing, it was very sad though, like it was well done, but I watched it by myself for a very good reason because I cry. I cry a lot during movies, I cry during Hallmark commercials. It's apparently um, hereditary, I get it from my mom, she cries during everything. My mom will read a card and cry. Actually I do that on purpose to her, I write really mushy cards on her birthdays like I just did to uh, make her cry, but only because uh, she knows if she gets embarrassed and it's really hilarious. Well I'm embarrassed too, that's why I watched this movie when I was home alone and Jeremy couldn't make fun of me afterwards. I did have a Kleenex box. And he has seen me cry before, but when nobody else is around, I really let myself go. And I do that. I'll rent really sad movies that I should watch, like Precious. That was another one, but I didn't end up crying all that much for that movie. But I rented it, watched it alone, just in case, right? So later that evening, uh, after dinner, we decided to watch another movie. So we uh, pulled out American History X, which is basically about a young man who is a white supremacist, you know, Nazi kid, who ends up uh, committing a hate crime and going to jail for it for three years. And uh, he, once he gets out of jail, his opinions have completely changed because of the situations that happen in jail. And I say situations heavily because it's graphic. Just warning you. Anyway, so he gets out of jail and uh, his big plan is to save his younger brother from a very similar fate because his younger brother was also a white supremacist. You know, 16-year-old idiot kid who has been getting into a whole bunch of trouble and he's worried that he's going to think the same way. Again, very good movie. Um, the whole movie was basically about uh, their lives and uh, the situations that resulted in uh, the young man going to jail and how it built up and how his whole belief system built up and again really good movie but super depressing like after the end by the end of the day I'm like I've got to really rent some better you know more happy movies I rented Cool Runnings why didn't I watch that I know I like that movie it's a funny movie who doesn't love Jamaican bobsledders right so I don't know, I've got to stop watching it. I did rent as well Alice in Wonderland, which is going to be a whole other video, because that movie, as a librarian, seriously disappointed me. Um, but like I said, I'm not even going to get into that now because I, uh, I've only seen it once in theater. I did rent it. I'm going to watch it again, uh, review it for you guys, and tell you why I think uh, it was maybe not as good as it could be. And I say this as being a very devout Tim Burton fan. I own most of his videos, er, videos, oh my gosh, I'm dating myself, DVDs. And uh, I'm a huge fan of his, the first two Batman movies. Love them, oh, love them so much. Anyway, so this is just my quick little morning video. Oh, and before I go, I just wanted to say uh, thank you all so much uh, for your comments and subscriptions and letters concerning my differently abled video. I had no idea it would get such a big reception. Holy cow, 12, over 1200 views in less than like 24 hours was is insane. But uh, thank you very much and I'm really glad you guys are this interested and I'm willing to share. So you know, keep it coming. You got more questions, you got things you wanna see or um, stuff you're curious about, please feel free to ask. 
and uh, I'll probably just keep making tiny little movies like this and I think I am going to do the day in the life of but no promises yet I'm still kind of working that over in my head anyway hope you guys have a good morning and I'm sure I'll be talking to you guys later bye